Oh yeah. Oh yeah, listen to this. Da, 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 da. Now listen to that is the soundtrack to Demons. It tells you a lot. <laughs> uh, firstly, I apologise. I'm going to take the piss out of this film a little bit, uh, even though I love it and it is cheesy. It's good fun. Uh, so to all the sad troll individuals, I'm rating disabled this video. So fuck you. Uh, right. Okay. Um, let, let's talk about Demon, shall we? Picked it up today. Um, it's the first steel book by um, the Arrow releases, which you all know, especially you Brits in the UK. Um, you know, all the likes of all, all the famous sort of directors uh, from the 80s and 70s and so forth, the Agentos and etc. And there's a whole big feast of them coming out. And um, to certain people, you know, they've just, I've seen videos where they just started off their Arrow releases, collecting them, and some where I'm starting to sort of help them out with trades and build them up. That's you, trash man. Um, I think the six arrow releases is going to be enough for you in the post. So uh, I'll try and see if I can get that off at the end of this week if you're watching this video. Um, so this is Demons. Um, there is a Demons 2, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, nowhere near as good. So this is Demons 1, and um, I drew this. Do you like it? Hey! No, whoever whoever done this had a good bit of fun, good artist, you know. If I zoom in to the actual artwork, there's things going on all over the place. Oh, that one of the demons grabbing the girl. That one ripping a about to rip a jaw out, demon in the background. And it all starts off because of this strange guy gives leaflets out saying going to this premiere of this party in this old abandoned uh, cinema which has been reopened. And then they all get trapped inside. And one of them puts on the mask, which infects them, and they all turn into demons. And they are la 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 la, lots of fun, motorbikes, cheesiness, over the top, pulsy sort of goo, and it's just good fun, you know. It's from my childhood. I had good fun, fond memories watching this. Um, I know it probably won't be as good as back then, but who gives a shit? It was good fun, so I liked it. And um, yeah, I like this still work for what it is, something completely different. And as you can see from obviously the art view, a lot of fun, and if you can hear from the really bad music, cheesy, more cheesy than what's its crisps. But um, there you go. <laughs> uh, what do you think, guys? It's a matte finish. There's no ratings, all that rubbish, as they tend to be doing now. They're getting rid of, which is absolutely wicked. Um, and obviously, you've got the demons' words on the top, which um, again. Cheesy. Uh, now, if we go to the back, because obviously it says Demons 2 with it, uh, we've got more artwork. Now, sadly, Demons 2, I thought, was um, real poo in the pants stuff. Um, it would creep my cheese. It wasn't really very good at all. Um, in fact, it was pretty damn awful, so um, I will never ever watch this film again. It was so bad. Uh, but really good artwork. Here we go. Look, look at the artwork. You see the, uh, the the skull, demons coming out of the floor and so forth. And it's pretty much everything you saw in the first movie. Just not as good, in my opinion. Just not as good. Simple as that. Bad acting, all that business, um, and so forth. But um, it's nice to have that on the back. So when you got one and two, quite expensive still, but it cost me twenty five quid. Because there's two movies in it, I'd be happy to have just spent 15 quid and got just Demons 1. But sadly, they didn't do that. Hell, they didn't even put this on the brand new releases. You had to go and find this on the Blu-ray alphabetical section. Mm. That's what they thought of this movie. Uh, so, nice gold writing for Demons 1 and 2 on the side there. Um, there's your director's name, Liberto. S I was going to say Savas, it's Bubbers, if I can say that in the Arrow release there which are brilliant releases by the way. Um, I love the packaging. Uh, sadly this one isn't packaged like the other ones with all the, the free posters and obviously you can't have different artwork, four different artworks per movie sadly through a sort of a window or a booklet with it. Um, but you, you're just paying for the still book and it only comes in the still book size rather than the other way. So um, there's Demon's Disc 2. Um, and here's the artwork. Here's the weirdo, the weirdo who goes around um, giving the um, sort of uh, flies out to people to advertise them. And then that girl saying, "Cool, you're sexy. Look at you. I love your your metal on your chin and your eye. Your eyes missing. Oh, you sexy man." I don't think she's really that happy. I think that's a load of bollocks. But there you go. Uh, artwork from inside the steelbook itself. There we are. 
pretty okay. Um, not believable, but it's okay. I said he didn't come with a book, but yeah, it does have a book. I tell a lie. I'm sorry, guys. It has a book to twickle your twickles. And obviously, as usual, um, the Arrow releases tell you a bit about the film. They have little photograph images on the film. And it's pretty much like a zombie basis thing. You get touched, you get infected, you turn into a demon rather than a zombie. And that's uh, exactly what you're going to get with this movie. And this is obviously showing um, Demons 1 and 2 in that little booklet. So it's a nice little uh, addition that you can keep with it. And... Um, be happy and uh, all, all, all that gubba gubba and business. Um, so yeah, there you go. Demons, cheesy movie, great fun, and cheesy music. <laughs> Sounds like you're about to go on one of them um, ghost trains on a um, fair ride or something like that, doesn't it? It's pretty bad, but that's the eighties for you. It's all good fun back then. It just sounds lousy now, but anyway, let's um, see what the quality transfer is. I'm a feeling being what it is and how old it is, it will be bad, but a matter of fact, arrows do a really, really, really good um, transfers from the old movies, and I can't complain about the great work they've done into them, so I'm not actually going to slag it off. I think it's going to be quite good. So there's the menu. Sadly, it's still, but you can see sort of eyes of the demons. Can you see them all popping up all over the screen? They just appear and they disappear, and a face sort of appears with them. As you can look carefully on the left hand side, a face appears with the eyes and then they disappear. There's steam and stuff coming on and obviously there's claw marks like a werewolf going around uh, the middle of the screen as well. But that's okay, that's alright. It's cheesy, but it's good. Uh, let's pick a clip and uh, let's pick a clip from the beginning. We'll pick a clip with a mask, that's where it all started. She put on the mask, silly girl. And look what happened to her, turned into a dickhead. <laughs> Uh, a Metropole is the cinema that gets switched on for the premiere where it all begins. And um, wow, yeah, the transfer rate is really, really good. Considering we're talking about a mid-80s film and they filtered it, there's the mask that she, the silly girl picks up. Uh, it's all set up. It's basically they're asking you, please pick up that mask and put it on your face. And that is what happens. It's all set up. And it's all done. It's all loving and nice and pretty right now, but it all changes in a bit. A bit of leg for you there, guys. A little bit of leg. Still legal. And uh, a girl with a lot, a lot of hair, I have to say. Well, you fall asleep in that hair and use it as a pillow or a blanket. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, look, I'm not saying sorry. I, I said I'm going to be a muck around on this one because, oh, look at those clothes. Man, this is really rehashed. Look at look at that 80s clothes, man. Those big baggy trousers. The, um, the decade of shoulder pads and big perms and hair. Even though the hair is not too bad in this one. But she's got bad clothes on as well. Look at that. I'll tell you, when on a first date she wore that, you'd have to have words and say, look, I'm going to take you out shopping because uh, we need to change things around. Um, oh, where was this made? Can someone leave me a comment tell me where this was actually filmed without me having to look it up myself? Is it is it filmed in... Well, I don't know where it's filmed. I'm asking you guys. Maybe you'll know and you can shout it out for me. I probably don't expect a lot of views from people on this one because they probably think a lot of people won't have heard of this, but you real die-hard fans and trashy fans and people who love horror films and... Movies of the 80s, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, and you you relate to me and think, wow, this is old, this is cheesy, but it's great, great fun, and uh, that is why I bought it. It's, it, yes, okay, it's a still book, but um, I, if it just come out of normal MRA and it was cheaper than 25 quid, if it was 15 or whatever, I'll, I'll buy it, because, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool here. Like, all the people go and watch a film, so they think, but uh, overall, they're just being, in fact, I can't remember her, if she's involved in it, I don't think she is, I think she's just give them money and she don't know. In fact, everyone but the dodgy bloke with the uh, bits of metal over his face, I think, don't know what's involved in what. Look at baggy pants. Bad, bad, bad. But uh, yeah, I didn't give you my ratings on this one. Uh, quality of Blu-ray. I'll, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. But for the fact that it was made way back then and what they've done to it now, I'll probably give it a 9 out of 10. Because uh, obviously it's not going to have the budget of like the Star Wars rehashing going through filter and filter. But it looks really, really good. Uh, the the colour's a bit washy, but it's sharp. Uh, it's a bit grainy, but it's not bad grainy. So, you know, a 6 out of 10 for this type of movie way back then uh, is not a bad 
bad mark at all. You know, it's equivalent of a, a probably a nine out of ten if I'm being honest. And uh, there you go. Look, it's the hair again. Mm, Want to get a sleep in it? Yeah, more dodgy clothes on the way. There we go. Uh, from a sexy lady on the left and. Uh, I think a blind chat. I really don't remember a lot of this film. In terms of the characters, I don't remember. Oh, don't touch the mask, man. Don't touch the mask. You know what's going to happen. Uh, I, I think only two people survived this film, so even this poor blind guy is actually going to cop it uh, during the movie, I, I reckon. I just don't remember. So, oh, look, there she goes, the idiot. She puts the mask on, which from here looks really plastic, by the way. You know, I thought it was a nice chrome metal mask, and it actually looks quite cheap. Oh, she knows what's going on. I think she's involved, actually, that woman, and she does know what's going to happen. And she pulls it off and cut her face. Oh, that's it. You're a demon now. You're going to be infected, you silly girl. It's going to go pussy. Silly. And that's how the story starts, guys. I wanted to put it on that scene so you sort of knew how it was going to happen. And it all starts with her being infected, biting someone else, and the usual zombie massacre spread. While trapped all in a cinema with uh, so, so many screens and back rooms and so forth. And uh, wow, look how crap that cinema is. Look at it. Look at the wooden chairs and the concrete floor. Were cinemas really that bad back in the 80s? I'm sure they had carpet. I'm pretty sure I remember them having carpets and look, not even going higher up, all, all the um, the stairs look just slightly above level so you've always got that problem of um, people, uh, heads in the way. If you get a tall bloke in your way, that's it, you've had it, you can't watch the movie. Do you remember that? How annoying was that? Stereo sound too, just two speakers at the front. Mm, not good. But they were the memories. Okay, guys, right, that's enough out of me. I've waffled, I've waffled. Um, good, good, good stuff. Uh, check it out. Tell me what you think. Leave me your comments, so forth. Uh, but for the poor little trolls, no, click the dislike button because it's not there. <laughs> okay, guys, cheers. See you all later.